Okay guys, I'm going to do a quick little tutorial. Yesterday I was playing around, um, you know, I bought a while ago, back when I worked at Michael's, which was probably a year or two ago, um, these when they were on sale. I got a bunch of the different molds and I never used them yet. So now I dug them out because I wanted to make these little mirrors. I glued the silver paper. You could buy this cardstock at Michaels or any craft store. So I cut the little circle out and I put I glued it on the back so I can make a little mirror. I'm in an embellishment swap. And so I thought I'd just show you how I did it. I didn't use the um I didn't use the these things. I didn't even open them yet. I gotta clean out one of my glue guns to use them. I got glue sticks in them. But anyway, so I decided to pull out my melting pot. For those of you who don't know what a melting pot is, it's by Ranger, and you can either get it online, on Amazon, or at Michael's or Pacatan's. There's different temperatures, and that one is for UD, and so that's what you, that's what I use, which if you don't know what UD is, which most of you do, it's ultra thick embalsing powder. And it's the same as, this is just thicker and it's clear. But it's really the same as all the little embossing powders that you buy, and you can put those in there too. But it melts it. And what I did was I colored it how I got it. Oh, I made these little combs too. I hope this setup is good. I bought a, a new tripod so I could start doing more tutorials, but I have to hook it up, and I don't have time. So I bought that, and I added um, mica powders to the clear UD, and that's what gave me the color. And... Um, so yeah, those are what I made. Oh, and I'm, here's a little candy bar that was in the mold. Doesn't really look like a real candy bar. If I put some gold foil on it, it looked like it came right out of a candy wrapper. And then the cupcake, but there was a cherry on it, but I accidentally broke it off when I took it out because I was impatient. All right, so let me get started. I think you can see my pot. As all you do is you... Um, sprinkle your UD in there and it's a powder and I already have this hot and so you're gonna watch how quickly it melts you can see it it's already starting to melt and you just kinda let it do its thing it won't take very long and um, what I did was when it got melted I added um, mica powders which there's all the different brands and um, for the um, for the little mirrors, I used my Lindy Stamp Gang, and I used this dark brown one. And you can see the mica. These are my Lindy's. They're just mica powders, and you, a little goes a very long way. And I just added it to that when it melted. You're going to see this is going to melt very quickly. But for this one, I kind of wanted to do a light color. I have all these like mica powders which are the eyeshadow that we all got at the dollar store for a dollar and they come in all different colors and it's in the makeup section and what it is it's eyeshadow pigment you can wet it and put it on your eyes or whatever but it's basically eyeshadow so if you want to scrape your eyeshadows in there go ahead um, I want I think I wanted to add this pearly one to make it pearly or this bisque but then I'm thinking for demonstration purposes, maybe I'm just, I actually want to try out this cheap stuff because we know that the good stuff worked good. See how it's melting? It's turning to liquid and it's very hot. So you got to be careful. Yeah, you can only touch this part. You will burn, burn yourself. So yeah, it's um, melting very nice. And I have this little plastic spatula. Oh, that's not even the one I want to use. This will peel off. Let me just give this a stir here to get the powder moving. Dog's barking. Um, I would fill this with more, but I gotta go to work shortly, so I don't have time. To, um, play around. All right, I'm going to add, I'm doing this live, so I don't know how this one's going to turn out with this particular powder, but you can use any of your mica powders. 
And I'm just going to sprinkle it in here. And this one's pink, so... I'm going to get it a little... This is hard to get out because of the... And you can mix your colors, too. In fact, I think I will. Mix up some colors. I'll, maybe I'll add some of that shimmery scintillating silver. Or no, maybe we'll do the bisque. This is Perfect Pearls by Ranger, so let's try. You can see you get a lot and a little goes a very long way. I just put a little smidgen in there. Now let me stir it up. And it's going to change the color. And then we're going to pour it in our mold. Do, do, do. Oh, what a pretty pink. And it has a... Um, this looks good. I love it. All right, and if you hold this up here, you can kind of melt this back off or let it dry and then pick it off. It dries very quickly. You don't have time. See, it's already almost dry. And you can peel it off and melt it back in there. Like that. This is like a just a plastic. And it melts right away. And then I'm just going to kind of move this around. And what's cool, if you mess up on your um, mold, you just let it dry and put it back in there and remelt it. If one messes up. Alright, this is going to take practice, pouring it in these little molds. And like, I did a few, and you know, you got to, depending on your mold, you know, it's going to get on the edge, and that's okay. And um, you can trim it when you take it out. But I hope I got this on camera. I'm going to just hold it ever so slowly and get it to the tip so I can control it and it is hot you have to be very careful um, I'll do this purse first and just kind of pour it in there pour it around there can you see how I put it in there let me do one of the combs like I said just take your time and get it up there. If you have a bigger mold, there's that. And let's do one of the bows. I love these pink bows. All right. And I'm going to do the mirror. The mirror is a little more tricky because I had it just right to go around it. See how I'm just filling it in? All right. That's it. You can see. I got it in there. It'll only take a few minutes to dry, and you pop them out, and then you'll get this. I don't know what those idiot dogs are barking about. It's cold today. We had 70 degree weather, 67 the past few days, and now today it's like 40. It's the end of April, my goodness. All right, it dries super quick, and um, I'm thinking I'm going to try later. I have to go to work now, but I'm thinking I'm going to try to cut one of these up and put it in here and see if it melts in the melting pot, But um, and I want to see if I could add my own color to these. Cause these things are outrageous at Michael's. They're like 10 bucks for this. And yeah, it's a stinking glue stick, so where do they get off? And I gotta stop and buy some more of this. This is I've had this for years. I'm telling you, probably since I started crafting, and I'm finally just getting down to the bottom. So that's good. I've used some stuff. But yeah, I used to use my melting pot and dip. You can dip um, your flowers and stuff in this. Let me show you. Let me get a dried flower while we're just. This is probably dry, but I'm gonna give it a few more minutes. But let me. Um, let me get one of my paper flowers here and just kind of show you what you can do. This is just, you know, a little paper flower. 
and use some tweezers and dip it in your pot. This was probably not a good example of one because, okay, there. Take it out and hold it and it's going to dry like really quick. And it'll be hard and glassy looking. Don't touch it, it'll burn you, but it's already starting to dry. See that? Okay, now this flower is like glass. Look how pretty soft pink. And it, it's hard like you embossed it. It ain't gonna move. See? It's kind of like glass. Now I just, I didn't do it. I just kind of did it for demonstration purposes, but. And then, you know, when you get the ickies on your tweezers, just pick it off and stick it back in there. It'll melt. All right, now let me pop these out. <clears throat> Look how easy they come out. And then, you can kind of cut with your X-Acto knife to get that center out if you want, but look how pretty. It's so pearly pink. And the bow, look how cute. And then I just take my little scissors, I have smaller ones, and you can just trim off the excess. And you gotta kinda do it right away when it's still a little pliable because this once this dries, forget it. I mean it's pretty dry, but once it cures, I should say, it's still there. So there's the little bow, and it's all pink and bisky looking. And then here's the comb. Look how pretty that is. And I'll just trim off the little nibbies that came on the edge. Look at that. Is that adorable? And now the mirror. I'll do the mirror. Just clean it up a little bit. You could probably use a Look how cute! Isn't that adorable? So that is how I got that and that one I mixed um, this one I mixed well this one was just the brown and then this one I added like a kind of a green which gave me like a gold mixed with the brown and I really liked that and then this was just the pink, uh, the pink you know the bisque and the pink eyeshadow the cheapy eyeshadows that you get at the dollar store or the Lindy stamp game so yeah I'm gonna play around and do a bunch more let me do let me show you one of these frames while I got this hot this is another one of the molds and I'm guessing you can use actually Let me do one of my, this will be a pretty hard, these are the Martha Stewart molds. So let me fill this so that I can actually get out of here and turn my pot off. I'm going to pour this in this mold so I could use it all up. And we'll see how Martha's stuff works. See how it's easier with a bigger mold, but those little teeny ones, you just have to play around. That looks really cool. All right, now we'll see how fast that, oh, okay, so look, now I'm going to show you that if you make a mistake on one, see, I almost used all my, my stuff's empty now, but watch, if I throw this back in here, it'll melt, and, it'll, and then I could just redo it. It'll melt right back down to the liquid.
So yeah, now maybe tonight I'll play around with using the Mod Podge on the thing, but putting it in the... I'll try it with the glue gun and the melting pot, and maybe I'll show you which one's different. Look, it's almost melted. Totally gone. Back to liquid. I can make another... Another... And then if you... I'm not going to do it now, but you can... When you start running out, you can just add more of this in, and it'll melt. Alright, see it totally melted. Now let me slap it in. Let's do one of the frames. I think I got enough to do one of these frames. Maybe I don't. Now I'm going to shut it off because i got to go to work. But I'm going to pop this out and show you. Yeah, look how cool that flower is. That is like glass now. And these are just, these aren't even like prima flowers. These are like cheapy flowers that I picked off of a bouquet um, that you buy like at the dollar store or something. But yeah, you can totally stamp on Alright, who knows when that shut off. But um, <clears throat> like I said, these are just from the dollar store cheap flowers that I picked off of a stem and then you can do them up all right so my pot is off and I'm gonna unplug it to make sure because I'm not gonna be home and I don't want to burn down the house because that thing is really hot and it is non-stick so I would not use metal in there I would definitely use plastic like a plastic something actually oh and when it dries to clean it just let this shut it off let it cool and then you can pop that off pop off your excess and actually, I used my junky bone folder to scoop it out because it won't scratch your surface. But all right, I'm gonna do this little one. We'll pop this little one out. Oh, look how pretty! See how you could just use cute little embellishments? That looks so pretty. All right, let's try the heart. We'll try the Martha Stewart mold here now. Yeah, look, it's already dry look how quick I pop it out and I got a beautiful heart did you see how easy that comes out so yeah it works in the Martha Stewart molds there you go I hope you liked it um, so just know you can use your the back is really shiny so yeah have fun playing around with that and uh, let me know if you like it thumbs up and leave me a comment alright thanks guys bye